friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. For today's video, we're gonna be going over all of my spending for week two in August. It is August 5th through the 11th. I'm gonna go through and talk about all of the spending that happened for this paycheck budget, as well as anything that we pulled out of our sinking funds. And also this past week, I took a bunch of money out of our long-term savings to buy some things. They weren't necessarily long-term things, but I did some rearranging and some finagling in my budget, so we're gonna talk about that as well. But for now, we're gonna get started with everything that came out of my just typical weekly budget so all of my variable spending this week. And it's quite a bit. So let's just get started. I said August 5th, but it's actually August 6th through the 11th. So my bad. All right, so starting off with August 6th, we did a dinner out this night. This was our payday. It was a crazy busy day. We had some storms this day. I don't need to justify it. We went out to eat. We have it in our budget, so it's fine. Um, we did Little Caesars pizza for dinner because I wanted to keep the amount that we spent very low. And Little Caesars is the only place in town that I can feed my family of four for less than $25. And so that is what I did. The category here is eating out. I do apologize, I do have my air conditioner running. I had it off for the last couple of videos I filmed to try to keep the noise level down, but I'm batch filming today, it's too dang hot. And um, unfortunately, I am in a time crunch. I am doing a bunch of bulk filming so that I can edit and upload videos for while I'm out of town. I'm going to Chicago the end of this week and um, I don't have time to run the air conditioner and cool it back down in the house between videos. So we're just gonna have to deal with the air conditioner noise. I apologize. All right, so at Little Caesars, we spent $23.60. So for my family of four to eat dinner from Little Caesars, it cost us less than $25 and we had leftovers. So if you have a Little Caesars nearby you and you're looking for someplace cheap to eat, I recommend that. All right, and then we also picked up some drinks to go with this meal so i guess technically it was more than 2360 but the drinks came from elsewhere so we spent um we stopped at a gas station it was a meyer gas station our meyer gas station had drinks on sale like buy two get one free or whatever um so the category for this is grocery And the amount that we spent for the four of us for drinks was $5.78. Okay, so that was it for the 6th. On the 7th, I did my grocery shopping at Walmart. We actually had a couple of different grocery shopping trips this week. That's how I've been handling grocery shopping. I've been going once at the beginning of the week to get um you know whatever i think we need and i buy as little as possible and then inevitably towards the middle to end of the week we need some more stuff which is fine i'm still just trying to spend as little as possible on groceries you guys know there's definitely been times where we have way blown our grocery budget we've been trying to reel it in so again the category here is grocery and the amount that i spent was 162.06. I did post a haul of what I purchased, so if you missed that, go back and check it out. All right, on the seventh and throughout the week, we did some shopping that I'm not gonna write down here. I told you guys I pulled some money out of our long-term savings. I actually haven't done that yet. I need to do the math and figure out what all we spent so at the beginning of August, I completely rearranged my budget. I took some of our short-term savings 
money, the money that I had set aside for sinking funds, and I used that money to help us get a month ahead on our bills to make budgeting by paycheck in August easier. Um, so I did that and that left me with very few funds in my short-term savings. So then as this month has progressed and we've needed things from those short-term savings, um, I haven't had the money there because I'm using that to be a month ahead. And that still totally makes sense for us. I love that I made that decision. Being a month ahead of my bills makes it so much easier to plan and budget. But we needed to do some back to school shopping and some soccer shopping. And those things would typically come out of our sinking funds. Um, I didn't want to take them out of my sinking funds. I didn't have enough money in my sinking funds essentially to cover those things because we took a lot of that money to get us a month ahead on our bills. And I didn't want to take it out of this budget because we would have totally blown our weekly budget. So instead I took it out of our long-term savings every week. You don't see it in my budget because I keep it private, but every week I put money into our long-term savings. So we have a nice little chunk of change saved up in that savings account. So I decided I was going to use some of that long-term savings to cover these short-term things. And I just moved a bunch of money around. I know it's kind of confusing, complicated the way I explained it, but, um, we took Austin to Soccer World and bought him a bunch of stuff he needed for the new soccer season. I got him some new cleats. We got him some school supplies and stuff. I don't want to take that out of our weekly budget because I will totally blow our weekly budget. So I pull, I'm going to pull that out of our long-term savings. It's totally fine. We are saving each week for short-term savings. So, you know, moving forward, once we get a little bit of money tucked away in there, we'll be able to use that money for these things. I just did a little bit of like musical chairs with our money. So I wanted to be open and upfront and honest about that. There was spending that happened. You guys are not going to see it here. Um, it was quite a bit. I could probably write out an expense tracker for that. If you guys are interested in seeing what money we spent um, from our long-term savings account uh, to cover those things, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, for now, I'm not going to include those things here. But just know that during this week, there was more shopping that happened that you won't see on this tracker. This is just money from our paycheck budget that we spent, okay? So we have different budgeted amounts for different things, right? Okay, so all of that to say, that was all the spending we did from our paycheck budget on the 7th. Moving on to the 8th, my husband went to Circle K and got himself some more tea. Um, that also comes out of grocery. And that was $5.49. Okay. On the 9th, um, my husband went to Speedway again for a drink. I told you guys this is a bad habit that we have gotten into rather than, um, you know, just taking water from home or drinks from home. We've been doing a lot of gas station stops for drinks. I do want to stop this because it's more expensive to do it this way than to go and buy drinks like at Walmart in bulk. Um, but this week we were still kind of playing into this habit. So that was $4. Okay. Um, also on the ninth, myself, my husband and my oldest son got lunch during the work day. We were all free. So we did Subway for lunch. So that is out of our eating out budget. And the amount that we spent there was $46 and 70 cents. It was a hefty price tag. Um, and then separately, my oldest son went to Taco Bell with some friends and I told him I would buy him lunch as well. So that also came out of eating out and that amount was $12.29. Okay. 
Um, on the 10th, we did a bunch more shopping. That's when we went to Soccer World and got all of those things for Austin, but that's not gonna be listed here. Um, so I'm gonna skip over a couple of things here that I've made note of and talk about the 10th when we picked up a few more groceries. Um, actually, the 10th, it was just one item. I sent my husband to a local market to grab some more ground beef because we were out and I needed it for the stuffed peppers that I wanted to make. Actually, it's not true. We weren't out. I bought a roll of ground beef from Walmart as part of that grocery haul that I posted earlier this week. And when I went to use that ground beef, it was rancid. So um, it was past the sell by date. I don't know how they missed it, but I did get a refund for that. I didn't include it here. Um, that'll just go back to my buffer. Um, but I needed to get more ground beef to replace that ground beef that was no good. So I sent him just to the corner and he spent $20.60 on ground beef for that meal for me. Um, On the 11th, we were back at that Meyer gas station to get some more drinks. My husband has been making tea at home, um, but when he's out and about, he stops and buys it. So I need to get him one of those travel cups or something so that he can just take his homemade tea with him. So this stops happening, but it happened this day and it was again from our grocery budget and the amount was $5.38. Okay. Also on the 11th, um, we went to Aldi. So they just opened up a new Aldi in my area. We just went in to check it out. We didn't really need any groceries, but we just bought a bunch of like stuff that they have at Aldi that we like. And we spent a total of 10204. So it was a kind of a large impulse haul. But we got some like freezer stuff and some snacks. So I don't regret it. And that new Aldi is very, very nice. All right. On the 12th, I took my son for a haircut. Um, he is about to start school and he's got a media day for his soccer team, so he needed to be clean cut for that. So I took this out of our spending. This is one of those things that could have come out of our um, sinking funds. It could have come out of that long-term savings, but I haven't really touched my spending budget for this week. So I decided I would just use my spending budget for this. And it was $26. All right, and then after I took him for a haircut, I took him to Chick-fil-A for lunch. So that came out of eating out. We did a lot of eating out this week and the amount there was $16.90. I actually didn't eat. Um, I wasn't hungry, but he was. So that was that. And that was all of our spending from our paycheck budget. Like I said, there was a lot of other spending. You're not going to see it listed here. Um, if you want to see that video, let me know. For now, we have a bunch of adding up to do. So, eating out groceries and spending, starting with eating out. I'm going to grab a highlighter so that I can kind of highlight as I go. my green highlighter. All right, so we will use yellow for eating out, pink for groceries, and green for spending. So eating out first. All right, so $23.60. Hopefully, let me see if I can get this in here without there being a giant glare on it. Um, yeah, there we go. So 2360 plus 4670 plus 
$12.29 plus $16.90. So our total for eating out this week was $99.49. I said in last week's video that I really wanted to keep our eating out under $100 a week. And look at that, we managed it this week just barely. Ultimately, I'd like it to be less than this, but under $100, I'm gonna call that a win. Okay, now for grocery. This is where we're probably gonna be over budget for the week. So we had $578 plus $162.06 plus $5.49 plus $4. All of those grocery trips to the gas station for drinks have got to stop. Just $5 here, $5 there, but it adds up so quick. $2.04 plus Oh, that was it. Okay, so $305.35. Yikes, that is a lot. Pretty sure we only budgeted $250 for the week, so we are definitely over there, I think. You guys will find out for sure when I do my budget closeout for week two and my budget for week three. That'll be tomorrow's video. Um, and then in terms of spending, $26. So the other spending that happened this week actually should have been all the way at the top on the 6th. I did transfer $700 to our bills account for next month's bills. And also I pulled out $200 cash for my uh, savings challenges. Just wanted to make sure that I wrote that down. I always forget to include that, but that was all money. It didn't necessarily get spent. It just got transferred, but wanted to make note of it there. So for that, um, I guess I'll include that here. That money will be going out eventually. I don't want to think that I have more money on hand for weekly spending than I actually do. So let's add it up. So $99.49 plus $305.35 plus $26 plus $700 plus $200. That's 13, 30, 84 total this week. And if I subtract out that 900 that was just transferred, we spent a total of $430 with 84 cents in variable spending this week. So certainly not the best week ever, but also not the worst. Um, the only other thing that I need to do here, I'm gonna flip to my sinking fund transaction log here. As I said, a lot of the money we spent, we're gonna take out of our long-term savings. This money is the money in our sinking funds, which is our short-term savings. We did have one transaction. Um, I took my son, actually my husband took my son this week for a physical. He needed a physical um, for Getting back to soccer, his varsity season started this week. So I just wrote Austin and actually that's wrong. I didn't take it out of our Austin sinking fund. I took it out of our medical sinking fund and the amount was $60 for his physical. And that we will true up all of our sinking funds at the end of the month. Lastly, I just need to flip to the calendar here and I need to mark off the bills for August that have come out. So I have my August 
bills coming out of the money that we put into our account to get us a month ahead. So the money that I saved and transferred into our month ahead fund is for September's bills, but we do have money in our account to pay August bills. And I've just been kind of keeping track of these bills as they come out so that I can make sure that nothing slips through the cracks. So this week our camper payment came out. So I can mark that off. We also had our car insurance come out. Which it doesn't, oh, I was going to say it doesn't look like I wrote it down here, but I did. So car insurance came out. I had another YouTube membership come out, which I need to mark here because I only wrote one of them. Um, I have several YouTube memberships, but we did have another one of those YouTube memberships come out this week. And of course I smeared it. Um, also had Weight Watchers come out this week. Just been kind of trying to keep track of everything here because I'm doing things differently now than I was doing it before. It's really easy for something to fall through the cracks if I'm not careful. And then we had Audible come out this week. So there we go. All right, so that I think is everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. I am now going to use this information, nope, this is last week, use this information to help me close out my paycheck budget, but that will be a separate video, so be on the lookout for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a lemon emoji down below if you got all the way to the end. You're a real one if you did, I really appreciate you. If you're interested in any of these budget worksheets you saw today and you would like to use them for your own budget, I'll have links down below. You can either get them from my Etsy shop or join my channel membership. All of the details for that will be in the description box. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me and I will see you next time. Bye.